How you doing? I'm Louis Gamino with Enviroscape LA. We're here at another project of ours in the South Bay, about uh, 20 miles south downtown Los Angeles, a beach area. Uh, we're doing another front yard, and if you take a look at it right now, it is just complete barren dirt. We do have some of the hardscape that has gone in. Uh, left a couple remaining plants, uh, some pygmy palms here. The boys are working on installing some border on that side. But the bulk of the area, what was here prior, was a water guzzling lawn. So the homeowner wanted to do what's right by the environment, thinking of the future, this drought that uh, is gripping Southern California. They love the green lush look, but they don't want to use the lawn, that water guzzling lawn. What are we installing? Carapia. Another project, we're installing Carapia here in the South Bay. This entire area is going to be Carapia. It's about 775 square feet. We do have an island cut out here to a lot for, so it'll be somewhere in that neighborhood. I want to give you guys a quick piece of advice. Uh, previously, when we'd, we'd get a project like this, I'd uh, get my pencil out, you know, piece of paper, start scratching stuff around, running all the numbers, verifying. I have the correct size header to pressurize that amount of linear feet of drip tubing, what size drip tubing, pressure regulator, so on and so forth. So it creates a little bit of homework, a little paperwork for me to do. I still do that paperwork by hand just because I'm old fashioned. I like to make sure my numbers are accurate. But previously, I'd double check it two, three times to make sure everything was right. Now, I do all the numbers, I double check it one time, and the way I do that, I go to the Rainbird website, and they have the landscape drip zone calculator. So, with several drop down screens, you can do subsurface, on surface, uh, details are irrigating shrubs, ground cover. You type in the square footage, width times length, and it will actually tell you the amount of drip tubing you're gonna use the amount of air relief valves you're going to need, the amount of cleanouts, the size of your QF header, if it's three quarter inch, one inch, half inch, are you using the uh, drip tubing as a header or using something bigger? Uh, in this particular project, we're using a three quarter inch header. Uh, we're going to use a QF product as well as a 40 PSI pressure regulator, one inch valve at the source. So these are all numbers I had laid out, written down, but just to back it up, I verified with the official Rainbird website. It really simplifies things. It's always good to double check and get a second source of uh, information and we use the Rainbird website for that as well as we're always installing the Rainbird product. So just another tip from Virascape LA when you think sustainability think Enviroscape LA.